Hey girls, so I'm home right now to study for finals, and I got to wash my pads at home, and I got the day to myself, so I thought that I would share with you guys what I had wore for cloth on my period this month of December, so I haven't been posting videos, but that's because I am in college, and I don't live at home, and I can't really film with my roommate there, so... This is kind of the best it's going to have to be. So, I just want to say right now that I didn't solely wear cloth this period because I'm trying to use up some of my organic disposable pads. But, sorry, my cats are fighting. But, this is what I used for cloth and I decided to show you guys because I have tried some new pads this month that... I haven't worn yet or pads from makers I have never tried before so I just wanted to show you guys them because I thought that they were kind of cool so starting with this wet bag that I used this is a double pocketed wet bag and yeah basically I just kind of kept this at the apartment in my room and then when I changed a pad I just put it in here and then I brought it home with me and then washed everything so that's what it looks like it has these cute little foxes on them thought it was pretty festive because it was snowing here a little bit ago so that's that okay so getting into pads so the first pad I want to show you guys is this one this is a shining topper. I made this pad myself. I th believe it's around 11 inches. I don't remember the topper. It's not cotton, but it's like something close. All I know is it is very stain resistant, so I didn't even have to put any stain treatment on it. It just came out. And the back is a polar fleece. And it's in the color sage with that. Which I think is like really beautiful. No one really backs pads in colors like that. So I thought that this would be unique for myself. And like if you guys don't know already I am a horror fanatic. I love horror movies. So if you see prints like this like you should just expect them. So just fair warning. The next pad I have is a 12 inch peak top moderate from Ragamuffin. That's her little shop thing right there. Or the skull and crossbones for absorbency. And I forget what her backer is, but it's water resistant. I don't know. It's, I have no idea what it is, but it does its job, so I can't really complain about it. The next pad I have is Christmassy. This pad is so cute because it just has like glittery stitching, but this is a 10 inch heavy from Lush's Eco Cloths. Um, she actually changed her name to Fandemonium Stitches, so anytime I say Lush's Eco Cloth, um, just know that her shop name changed, but this one is just cotton topped with blizzard fleece back. And it actually isn't pilling yet, which is kind of crazy because I've washed this guy a couple of times. The next pad is from Sherry's Creations. She, oh wow, she zoomed. But um, Sherry works on Facebook, which is where I got this pad. It was custom. I think she only had like three or four spots in this print, maybe five. But oh my gosh, I had to get some. It's OVB, OBV topped. I don't know if I can like show you the texture. There you go. It's just beautiful. And this one's a heavy, which she marks by her red snaps. And I forget what the backing is. I want to say, um, I don't know, maybe like a micro fleece. Sorry, I have like cat hairs on these, but yeah. And this one is 13 inches. The next really long pad I have is this one. This is from Yurtcraft. This is a brand new purchase. I just got it this month. It might have been the 
end of last month actually but I love it and this was an organic cotton topped pad with a PUL bonded Sherpa back and it's a heavy what she denotes by these little stars and yeah so I wore this overnight which is kind of strange let me just snap it up to like show you guys how wide the gusset is I added this pink snap so originally it doesn't come with that one but this is how wide it is with the first snap I believe it's like three and a half inches it's three to three and a half inches wide which is kind of crazy but for overnight it's nice to have something that wide so that you really get that kind of coverage and I found that I actually really love a wider snap but the problem was with my underwear that it ended up bunching if I can like show you guys how it kind of bunched it was like this in my underwear and then there was like blood running up the side here so that was annoying but I really 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 love this pad like these little gingerbread men I just think it's so cute now the next pad that I have that's kind of Christmassy is this one and it's from Lush's Eco Cloths 2 I believe this is a 10 inch moderate it's just cotton topped and blizzard fleece back this one is pilling but you can't see it on camera maybe if I like yeah, I can't really show you, but it is starting to pill, and this one stained so bad. I had to stain treat this pad like three different times, but it was worth it because it's beautiful, and I'm glad I got to wear it. To wear it. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. My brain is dead from studying, but trying to film this video, it's not working, but we're getting there. And if I didn't say, it's a 10-inch moderate. So this pad is, well it's not a pad, I guess it's a liner, it's from Rag Hag, if I can get the label there, it just says Rag Hag and it's a liner. She's a UK seller and she has a lot of like feminine prints, feminism prints, vegan prints, just kind of prints no one else has, which I love, and these are like, I forget what it was called, I think it was like vagina garden or something I don't know I thought it was funny so I got it this is an 8 inch liner with I believe it's oh it's vegan anti-pill fleece back is what she says um since we're already on her liners I'll just show you the next one I wore by her it looks like this and this is like the most festive liner I have it's so cute I don't know what happened down here in the corner like I have no idea I think maybe this OBV pad kind of like bled into this, but I don't know. Um, so this is another 8 inch liner with vegan anti-pill on the back from Rag Hag. Her liners are like my favorite, but I can't really get any because her shipping is expensive and I am broke, so in the future I do want to get more of her things. Uh, this is the next Christmassy pad that I have. It is. 10 inches and it's heavy from Lush's Eco Cloth or Phantomonium stitches now and that's the back this is blizzard fleece just this is so cute like just to show you guys but her pads were thick when I bought this because she was still using um what's it called flannel so like they are really thick if I can show you they're like a maxi pad, but you just can't really wear them with leggings, which is fine. You just get around that. So the next pad I have is this one. It's from Homestead Emporium. It's the Ulti Mini Extra Small. Uh, that just means it's 10 inches. And I believe her Ulti Mini Extra Smalls are like a moderate flow and then she just has this wind pro fleece backing so this was beautiful uh, this is the next pad I wore it's from geek chic uh, she sells on Facebook and this is a hand dyed cotton lycra top it's ribbed cotton lycra as you can see like by the lines there but 
This is a 13 inch heavy. And I think she, yeah, it has an H for heavy, so you don't forget. And the back, I think, I forget what the back is, but it's just some sort of fleece. It's like water resistant fleece, but it's not wind pro, I don't think. Oh, and with this pad, I had the same kind of problem with it bunching up like the yurt crafted, and then I ended up bleeding like in this corner and kind of like off the pad, but I mean, it's beautiful, and I didn't really leak onto my underwear, so it was good. The next pad I have is this one. Oh gosh, it looks all wrinkled. Okay. This is a... Alti Mini pad from Homestead Emporium. It's her 12 inch moderate to heavy pad and sorry there's just a string there that I just noticed. It is a cotton jersey or a bamboo jersey top. I don't remember but it feels like a sweatshirt and the back is just orange wind pro. And this is my first time this month trying Homestead Emporium pads and I actually really like it and since the core kind of stops right there like after this line the rest of this is just so floppy so you can actually wear this 12 inch pad with leggings and like you still can't see it so I really appreciate that kind of coverage but I actually asked for more of these pads for my half birthday this month so I do have some more of these coming in the mail because I've never ordered directly from her shop but I finally did and I'm excited. This is the next pad that I wore. It's a 13 inch moderate. Um, I made this pad in the fluff pattern. I think Versadile sells it, I'm not sure. But then the back is just an anti-pill in the color Sage. I love this pad so much and I'm so proud of it. I think it turned out really well. I don't know. but. Yeah, I did work hard this summer sewing a lot of cloth pads, but I just wanted to have an array, and I didn't have the money, so I decided to make some. This is the next pad. This is a 10-inch moderate from Yurtcraft, and this print is so cute. I have it in one of the other What I Wore This Month videos. Oh my gosh, I love it. The trucks are so cute, but it's just cotton topped and PUL bonded Sherpa backed. Just looks like that. That's the backing I tend to always go to when I get customs from Yurtcraft so that I don't leak through them. But I do find that when you go to wash them or stain treat them, it's a pain to get anything out of. Like the back just bubbles up kind of like... I don't know if I can show you, but like, like this in the water and then like nothing comes out. Like you have to squeeze it and squeeze it and squeeze it. It's just kind of a pain, but I do appreciate that it's organic and just good for your body and you don't leak. So, I mean, it's worth it to me. This is the next pad. This is my favorite pad. I actually think it's my favorite. This pad is from Homestead Emporium. It's another 12 inch Alti Mini, I believe. It is a moderate to heavy flow and it's OBV topped and just wind pro fleece backed. Oh, I love the like dyeing on this. I think it's beautiful. But if, I wish she had more kind of dyes like this in her shop with the light blues and like the greens they definitely sell out really fast like the kind of like swampy colors I guess a lot of people go for those ones now this is the next pad and this is from Lush's Eco Cloths which is now Fandomodium Stitchery or Stitches but for some reason my camera doesn't want to show it Maybe I can, I don't know. It's Lush's Eco Cloths. And it's an OBV in You're a Mean One, I think is what she called it. And it's a moderate, which is the blue snap. 
and it's just a blizzard fleece backing. I believe that one was 11 inches. Um, the next one I have is this one. I love it. I think it's beautiful. It's a hand dyed flannel top. I got this from Moonstone Stitch Witch. She's not a business anymore on Etsy. And this pad was super cheap, so I bought it forever ago when I just got into cloth pads. I believe it's 12 inches and it's a moderate, but it's really thick. So I don't usually like to wear it, and if I would wear it, I think I'd wear it like with the top being longer than the back. But yeah, I didn't like this with my leggings. It was super bulky, so... I don't know, but I do love it. And the back is, it's just fleece, like, just regular fleece. The next pad I have is from Full, Full Moon Creations. Um, she sells on Facebook. Oh, I love this print so much. It's a 13 inch, I believe, peak top, moderate, with, I forget what kind of fleece backing this is. I'll just say like an anti-pill or like a polar fleece, but I love this pad. The next pad I have is this one from Venus Pads. Uh, she closed for the year, so I can't really see what else she has in stock, but I love this pad so much. It just, it's so thin and it's just a really good shape for me. Like it doesn't bunch and it just sits perfectly. So I love this one. It's just a cotton topped 12 inch moderate with a wind pro fleece backing, I believe. But that's that one. And I did wear really long pads this time. Um, before I was using like 10 inch pads in this period, I definitely was preferring 12 inch pads. I had a super heavy flow this period. like. I had the worst cramps. I didn't, like, get out of pajamas, so anything that was comfortable, I just put on. Um, this is the next pad I have. This is from Geek Chic Cloth as well. Uh, it's just in this Friends print. I love it so much. I believe this is an 11-inch pad, and it's a heavy, and it just has that, like, polar fleece or whatever it was, but that's that. And it's a knit top, if I didn't say that. And the knit tops are really nice and thin and soft. Oh, they're just so pretty. And then the next pad I have is this one. It's from Rag Hag. And it's a 9 inch moderate with the vegan anti-pill on the back. This is the next pad I have. It is from Fig Leaves Pads. It was originally 12 inches, but now it's really close to 11 inches. It's a cotton topped, wind pro fleeced back, heavy to moderate pad, I believe is what this ribbon means. But I love this print. The wine is just so nice. Just the like graphics on this is just really cute and it has a heart snap. So I love that. And this next pad is from Venus Pads. It is about 11 inches, I believe. It's OBV topped and when pro fleece backed. Yeah, it's a moderate. And the last pad that I have is this one. It's a crushed velvet knit top, I believe. It's 12 inches from... True Northern Threads on Etsy, and it is a moderate pad with polar fleece on the back. So these are all of the pads that I wore this month. Well, all the cloth pads I wore this month, which was a decent amount. I definitely could have used way more. I probably could have had five to ten more cloth pads, but since I did want to use kind of my disposables, I really didn't get to using that many but yeah I just wanted to show you guys what I've been using when I use cloth pads and just kind of like show you guys these really cute prints but 
yeah, so if you guys watched it this long, thank you. <laughs> if not, I don't care. <laughs> but I do appreciate you guys being here, so thank you. And I'll see you next time I make a video.